Over the past two and a half years, CBC Media Digital Engagement Project, funded by Communities 2.0, have been travelling the length and breadth of West Wales, tackling digital exclusion wherever they find it. Like a pair of superheroes, like Batman and Robin, in that episode of Only Fools and Horses. The purpose of this short film is to give you an insight, a whistle-stop tour of some of the activities we've engaged in during this period. Now that the project has come to a close, the funding has come to an end, we're in a transition period where income generation is our priority. So while this film will give you an insight into the past activities of the project as it was, it also serves to showcase some of the services that we here at CBC Media are able to provide your organisation in the weeks, months and years to come. Roll the tape. One of our most popular engagement activities has to be the green screen photography demonstrations, which we've done more times than I can remember. At the National Eisteddfod, Llanelli Multicultural Network events, village halls, Christmas parties, in fact, you name it, we've been there. We've taken thousands of photographs. Hey, I'll have a baby sham. That tickles. Small statue or big man? Walking like an Egyptian. Pointing? Pointing at a giraffe? Pointing at an astronaut? Picking a meerkat's nose. Feeding your hand to the lion. And of course, that old favourite, feeding your baby to the lion. Which seemed to be a recurring theme. Promotional adverts for local charities. Our volunteers made around 30 of these giving local charities the opportunity to make short films outlining their services. My name is Rachel Evans and I work for the Retired and Senior Volunteer Programme in Ceredigion and Carmarthen. Hello, moment, um, my name is Annie Fisakli and I'm the Health and Social Care Services Manager for the British Red Cross covering Carmarthenshire, Pembrokeshire and Ceredigion. Um, I'm here today my name is Mary Cowan. I'm the Local Development Manager for Arthritis Care in South Wales. Arthritis Care is the largest UK organisation. Hello, my name's Jill Webber and I run an organisation called Wellbeing Regeneration. We're a not-for-profit organisation. Um, we're there to help people to have lots of fun, to make friends, um, access all sorts of different activities and to provide services which help you to... Anna Toldo, an Italian exchange student working with Llanelli Multicultural Network came to CVC Media for help in creating two documentaries exploring the stereotypes attached to Muslims and Gypsy Roma travellers. Her films have been distributed and watched by representatives from many organisations, including the Welsh Government. What do you think about the Gypsy community? Which is the first things that come into your mind if I say Gypsy, traveller? They've always been around. They don't tend to cause too much trouble, do they? Well, you only hear bad things about them, to be honest. Well, all I know about gypsies is what I know experienced as a child. You know, they lived in the camp, they were in school with me, they were just like everybody else. If you were gypsies, they think of you as being untidy and dirty, and having have gypsy in my family, I know that's not true. So what do you think uh, it has to be done to reduce this type of stereotypes and common perception? The biggest factor, I think, would be to break down barriers, carry on engaging with hard-to-reach communities and groups. Um, I think the multicultural network has played a good part by having events on a regular basis where lots of different... We've held many film projects over the past few years, including a number in conjunction with the University of Wales Trinity St David. This year saw almost 20 participants getting together at Carmarthen campus for three days to learn how to create a film. They ended up making seven. What 
she gonna do when they come for you? When you were eight and you had bad treats, you go to the I enjoyed that. She was really interested. Um, we learned a lot about how to use the equipment, and I have to say, editing is a long process, very long process. But it's worth it in the end when you see the results. So, that's it. <laughs> I didn't think that would be possible because I hardly ever take any pictures, never filmed anything in my life, but found it really, really good. Um, I work for Gwalia Care and Support, so I brought clients from our projects onto the coast. We as a project are putting together a film to show uh, people's life in a journey, um, so this is really going to assist me in order to make our own film when we get back to our project later on. Oh, it was good. I particularly enjoyed the editing process because I haven't had much experience doing that before. It was fantastic. We worked really well as a team and to get this done in three days is, is a big challenge for the really There's a lot more uh, to it than I thought there was. Surprisingly easy, I picked some of it up. So, which bit did you particularly enjoy? The uh, best part was the editing. I could see myself doing that quite a bit. So you'd like to do this again? Yeah, I would. Another one of our film projects, this time with Gwalia Housing and Support, where five of their clients made a series of films outlining the journeys they'd undertaken in their lives. ADHD is a non-visible disability. Uh, I went through school not knowing anything about having a disability. I just thought I was classed as, well, I was classed as a naughty child. Uh, I struggled to sit down and pay attention to do work and things like that. Eye to eye contact, I could never do. Listening, I just refused to listen basically, but it wasn't. My name's Justin, street name is known as JJ. I was on the streets for approximately 10 years. Uh, my homelessness led to mainly drugs. Um, my survival through drugs was um, quite difficult. And what happened? Hi, I'm When I was little, I was into my sports and used to play rugby, football. We've been commissioned to make corporate promotional films for various organisations, including the Local Service Board, Carmarthenshire County Council, Rural Development Plan, to name but a few. This one was for Mudvai Hall and Trading Company. The Mudvai scheme has its origins in a, a desire by a small Welsh community in, in West Wales to originally replace... Um, a very much loved village hall. Um, the village Podcasting with some very important people. Well, Boreda, Diablariani, Higi, and Macavari, Vodma, Gadehi, Trud Camera, Borima, Diablariani, Macavari, Borderan, or a launch, Borima, or Population Health, Ama, and Halova. Right now, of course, with the festive season drawing near, what better way to wish your family, friends and colleagues a Merry Christmas than to have your own personalised cards photographed and printed in seconds. From this, to this. Or this. Or this. Of course, it's not just for the children. Here are some adults clearly enjoying the experience.
I'm going to leave the last word to Gwyneth, the Pembrokeshire gnome. Merry Christmas to all my family and friends, and a happy and healthy new year from Gwyneth, the Pembrokeshire gnome. Bye!